Hello, everybody. Happy Memorial Day. So, since it's Memorial Day, I would like to talk about some stuff, even though I am young. So, um, like, like the Vietnam War was before I was ever born. But, um, something that affected my life, uh, was my birth father was um, sent to Vietnam and he he uh, was a dog trainer. So he was the one, he was on the front lines with the dogs and um, he loved those dogs so much and he just grew a real relationship with them. And I should probably mention that we uh, we were never allowed to talk about Vietnam at all, at all, in my house. Um, it was um, a very sensitive subject, and if we started talking about it or asking questions, we would get in trouble. And it wasn't until I was much older that my birth father um, talked to me and told me about the dogs and um, it's one of the only times I ever saw my birth father cry and it broke my heart because I did not know they had to leave all those dogs there. Um, they were not allowed to bring back those dogs that they had grown so close to, the dogs that had saved their lives. Um, so I know today is Memorial Day, and, um, so, you know, I also want to remember all of the soldiers that died, but I also want to remember all the dogs of war that also lost their lives, um, for us. Um, and then another part of that, like, even though my birth father made it back alive, he was never the same man. Um, I had letters that my mother had from before he went to Vietnam, and he was this amazing, sweet, loving, kind man. And then after he got back from Vietnam, he was not the same. He was not the same. He was no longer a loving, kind man. And, um, and I know that my story with that, uh, I'm sure that a lot of people um, can understand that. So um, even though he didn't die, his love and his innocence did. And um, for that, I want to remember that as well for those people because um, and it's not just the Vietnam War, it's all the wars, you know. Um, I also had a boyfriend that was in Iraq, and um, he was on the front lines, and when he came home, uh, it was really rough for him, really rough for him. And while I was away on a trip, he took his own life. And... Uh, and it was rough. It was rough. So, I mean, we lost, we've lost a lot of really good people, a lot of really good animals, a lot of, a lot of sadness, a lot of sadness. So I just want to pay my respects to all of it, to all of it, because it's just really sad. It's really sad. And I, for one, will never forget the sacrifices. Um, so, with that being said, um, I hope everyone takes a minute in prayer and to remember every, you know, everything that was lost um, and sacrificed um, for our freedom. Uh, and then I found this book, so I want to end with this. So, the Serenity Prayer. God, 
Grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, courage to change the things I can, wisdom to know the difference. Living one day at a time, enjoying one moment at a time, accepting hardship as the pathway to peace, taking as he did this sinful world as it is not as I would have it. Trusting that he will make all things right if I surrender to his will. That I may be reasonably happy in this life and supremely happy with him forever in the next. Amen. So I love you all very much. I will see you manana. Remember, take a moment out of your day, pay some respect, and be kind to one another. I love you. See you manana.